Hello sausages and saveloys, this is Nana Beryl and today we're playing The Sims 2 with the Bumble family and today we're going on holiday to Twicky Island yes, so they're just getting to Simville Airport they've just arrived yes, they've just arrived at the other Simville Airport the other end of it on Twicky Island now which hotel shall we stay in? Shall we stay in some bungalows or should we stay in Blossom Wood Hotel? I think we'll stay there, yes. Blossom Wood Hotel because Nana Beryl thinks they need to have some comfort, don't they? Yes, they have to have some comfort. Now where are you love? Where are, where are you all? So it's arrived. Oh there we go, it's just behind the little needs panel. So we can't see them, love, because Nana, Nana Beryl's camera angle is all over the place. Yes, so their taxi has just gone. Yes, it has. So they must be... Where are you, love? Where have you gone? Are you inside? So I think they're inside. Oh, yes, they are. There we go. They're inside already. Yes, there they are. Now you need to check in, love. So they're discussing world events, aren't they, love? Yes, they are. Now you need to check in over here. Oh, that's right. And he says we well, need to choose a suite first. You need to choose some rooms. So we're going to go and choose some rooms for them. Now we need something that has enough rooms, um, enough rooms with enough beds, don't we? Yes, we do. Now these are pretty ugly rooms, aren't they? It's a very ugly decor. Not very attractive. It looks like somebody threw up all over the bedspreads. Yes. Oh, yes, it looks very unattractive. So I think we'll choose these rooms. This one here's got two beds, so one for Sprocket and one for Mum. And the one over there could be for Mr Bumble, for for Dr Bumble, the granddad. Yes, we'll choose that one for him. Despite the fact that the bedspreads all look quite unattractive, yes. Does look like someone threw up their tomato soup all over them. Oh no, she's having a good natter, isn't she? She's having a good chat to one of the staff members. Now Mr Bumble's going to go over and check in. And he's saying, how are you, young man? And he says, how are you, sir? And he goes, well, actually, I have arthritis. I have arthritis and I have prostate trouble and I need a mobility scooter. So he checks him in. And then Mrs Bumble comes up there and says, hello, how are you? And he says, I'm fine, except for people telling me too much of their personal information. And there's Greta. Greta has arrived, yes. And over here we have, yes, the Bumble family, and she's dancing with her sprocket, yes. And he's thinking about having poached eggs for breakfast by calling room service in the morning. This is the outside of the hotel, the Wood Blossom Hotel, which Nana Beryl did not build. Now, it came with The Sims 2 Ultimate Edition or ultimate um, collection and outside it we have a swimming pool yes so this is on Twicky Island that is part of the Sims 2 game yes it's done by they've made a very good job haven't they EA have EA and um, and Maxis I think they're one and the same company aren't they these days I believe unless I'm horribly wrong but yes so EA Games and Maxis done a very good job at this, haven't they? Very good. Now get on that diving board, love, and show us your diving skills. Is she going to chicken out? I think she's going to chicken out. Yes, she is. She's going to chicken out. Yes. Yes, make sure you don't crash land on people either, love. Yes, now I think you need to go for a visit somewhere too. I think you need to go to the beach, but you need to check out your rooms first. So there goes mum, and she's going to sit down and watch some television. Yes, some television. What are you going to watch, Mrs Bumble? What's on television? Oh, is that Back to the Future? Looks like Back to the Future to me, or is it E.T.? What is it, love? Oh, now there's a, bit, there's a few different things on. She's watching, she's watching a preview. She's watching trailers. That one's called The Pool, and this one looks like The Prowler with makeup effects by Tom Savini, yes, from the 1980s, it's a good horror movie, yes, The Prowler. And that one looks like a Christmas movie, 
Have you got it on the Christian channel, love? Have you got it on Hope TV? What have you got it on, love? Well, she's a bit bored with that. She says she's sick of watching Die Hard. She's seen it too many times, so she decided she's going to do something else. What's she going to do, love? Yes, so you're going to use a telephone. Oh, um, she'll just get you to walk, I think. Yes, now I'll get you to walk to the beach instead of calling a taxi because she needs to save money during cost of living crisis, love. Yes, she does. She already spent enough on the hotel rooms, haven't you, love? Yes, you have. So you can walk, that's right. And don't forget Mr. Bumble and your wee sprocket as well. Where are you, Dr. Bumble? Where are you? Oh, here he comes, yes. He says, all right, Nana Beryl, don't hurry me up. I'm having problems with my arthritis medication. So he's going to the beach and so is Sprocket, yes. So they're going to South End Beach on Twicky Island. Now, I've never been to Twicky Island, South End Beach before, so let's have a look. This will be interesting. Oh, look, they've got some island shops outside. Very nice, just hopefully it doesn't rain, that's all. Now, does Mum want to buy something? Come on, Mum, do you want to buy something? And she says, no, Nana Beryl, I do not want to buy some items from the island shop. Thank you very much. I've got money to spend on room service, and that's about it at the moment. I would rather be sunbathing here on the beach, so I'm going to sunbathe on the beach without sunscreen and tat myself so I can look old and wrinkly early on in life. Yes, that's right, love. So she's going to lie down there and sunbathe without any sunscreen, which is very silly, isn't it, love? Yes, it is. You always use sunscreen out in the sun. Oh, she just doesn't care, though, does she? She doesn't care if she gets age spots and wrinkles. Now, young Sprocket has gone up to the top of the pirate ship, and he's having a look and going, this is amazing. This is incredible. It's an amazing view. Yes, it is. He goes, Mum, this ship is amazing. So he's calling out to his mother and he thinks he'll go down and tell his mum to come and have a look. He says, Mum, come and have a look at the ship. Mum, where are you? Mum. And he's calling, Mum, 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 Mum. But she doesn't care, she's just ignoring him because she's going to tan herself to a crisp. Yes, she is. So he's gone back upstairs again because he wants to explore the ship. He realises that Mum's just not going to respond. So he thinks, oh well, too bad, I'm going to climb the mast. So she should be keeping an eye on him because he shouldn't be climbing up all that way on the mast at his age. He might fall down and break his femur. Yes, he might break his femur bone. And Dr Bumble, who used to be a doctor, is looking at his daughter saying, now why aren't you using sunscreen? You're going to get skin cancer if you're not careful. So he's giving her a bit of a telling off, aren't you, Mr. Bumble? Yes, you are. Now you should go up here and have a look and explore the ship yourself and keep an eye on the young sprocket. Yes, but he's having problems getting up the stairs because of his arthritis. Now young Bumble is heading inside. Yes, he's heading inside the ship. Now what are you going to find in there, love? Don't get lost. There'll be all sorts of weird things in there, love. And Mr. Bumble comes up to the top of the ship looking for sprocket. And oh my god, out pops a ghost. So Mr. Bumble, you need to come and talk to the ghost and, and fill him in on the 20th century. Yes, you do. You need to come and fill him in on what's been happening over the 20th century. Because he's a ghost and he's from a previous time in history, love. Yes, he doesn't, he doesn't understand the modern world. So Mr. Bumble comes up to him and informs him about X-rays. Yes, we invented MRI scans and X-rays since you were dead. And we've also made contact with aliens, possibly. Yes. And he also talks about recycling. Yes, he talks about recycling. And the, the, pirate just, the pirate ghost just can't believe it. He laughs and thinks it's hilarious. Because we also have a justice system now, too. So he's amazed and he talks about space travel with Elon Musk. Yes, he talks about Elon Musk and also about landing on the moon and also about pollution. Yes. So this pirate is just too much to handle. He's quite shocked and taken back by that. Yes, he is. And he can hardly believe his ears. His ghostly ears. That's right, love. His ghostly ears. So now I think Mum should come and have a talk to him too. 
Oh, she's already come up. She's heard about the ghost, so she's coming up to talk to him and tell him about how they've invented makeup and television and how she likes to watch Westworld on Netflix. But he doesn't understand because he doesn't know what robots are. That's right. Doesn't know what androids are. So Mr Bumble's a bit shocked that there's a ghost on the ship, yes. Because he didn't believe in ghosts, but now he does because he's seen the one on the ship. He realises it's not just a hologram. Now he wants to sunbathe as well, but he knows he might get skin cancer, so he's decided instead he's going to moonbathe. Yes he is. And he hasn't got much sunscreen with him, so he's decided that he's going to moonbathe in, in his uh, wetsuit and he's going to put some sunscreen that does have on his wetsuit, yes. Just to make sure he doesn't get any moonburn. That's right, love. Moonburn. From the rays from the moon, yes. He's a little bit senile, our Mr Bumble, isn't he? Yes, he is. Now, the young wee sprocket decided he needs to go to the toilet, but he doesn't want to go to the island toilets because they're a bit dirty. So he's decided it's time for them to leave and walk back to the hotel. And the fire dancer says, get out of my way, young sprocket. I have to teach somebody the salsa. I'm on my way to give a private lesson to teach them the salsa. So here comes Mrs Bumble and also Dr Bumble. Yes, and they're going to walk back to the hotel, the Twicky Hotel. The, is it called Wood Blossom, isn't it? Blossom Wood Hotel. Nearly got it right, love, nearly. So Blossom Wood Hotel. Yes, so here they are back at the hotel. And they are discussing all sorts of things. Yes, they are. They're discussing all sorts of things, including the weather. And who do we have here? We have some new visitors. Yes, we do. Who are going to their rooms. Now, you need to go to your room, love. Yes, you do. You need some sleep. Yes, your energy's down, so you need some sleep. Sprocket should be in bed. Yes, it's way past his bedtime, love. What are you doing? You're going into the wrong bed. That's mum's bed. You naughty little tyke. Now get out of that bed and get into your own bed, love. Now, where is he going? You're in the wrong room too, love. Don't you dare get into that bed, you go to your own room. Oh good, so he's going to his own room, is he? Yes, very good. So Dr Bumble is going to hop into the single bed in his room, which is across the hall from Mrs Bumble. So across the room from his daughter. Now what have we got here? We've jumped forward and she's making a phone call to have some room service, I think. Yes, she is. So she's going to have room service because she wants to eat. She's a bit hungry, but she's also tired. So she thinks she might just grab a bit of a nap before room service arrives. Now what are you doing, little sprocket? Where are you going? Oh, so Mr Bumble has arrived at her place. Yes, he's, a, he's in her room. And they're going to have the room service meal. Yes, they are. Going to eat. Where are you going, Mr Bumble? What are you doing? Where are you taking your plate, love? Now he's got a bit of sundowning, yes, which is the beginning of Alzheimer's and dementia, I think. Yes, so where are you going, love? What are you doing? Oh my God, you're going downstairs. Is he going into someone else's place? You're going to someone else's hotel room, love. What are you doing? You're going to scare the bejesus out of this poor woman, love. You better be careful. She might hit you in your special toy box. She might get a fright. Yes, she, he might get kicked in his novelty box, love. Yes, now you just eat your meal and disappear, love. You take your meal out of there. It's not your place. Yes, his mind isn't 100%, is it, love? So little Sprocket's come to tell him that he's in the wrong place. What are you doing, Granddad, he says. says, I'm eating my dinner. My room service dinner. And he says, but Granddad, you're in the wrong place. You're in someone else's apartment. You're in their hotel room. And they decide to dance. Yes, they decide to dance. Have a bit of a dance. 
Now this woman's wondering what the heck is going on. She's thinking, what the hell are you doing in my hotel room? What are you doing, love? He says, well, I was looking for my doctor. Even though I am a doctor myself. She goes, you need a jab. Mm -hmm. And he says, I know, I do. She says, you also need an eye examination. He says, yes, I do need an eye examination. And he has a bit of a giggle. Yes, that's right. Now, he's going up to his bedroom. He's already told his granddad to come upstairs. But he's tired, so he's going to bed to have a dream. Now, what are you doing, love? You're in the wrong bedroom. You're in your father's room. You need to get out of the bed, love. What are you doing? You're all over the place, aren't you? Yes, you are. You're all in each other's rooms, love, and each other's beds. That's right, dear. You need to go to your own bed. Oh, my God, they're so much effort, aren't they? They're exhausting just to watch, love. What are you doing, Mr. Bumble? So Dr. Bumble's back in her room. Oh, my God, love. You need to come up here and go to bed, Dr. Bumble. Yes. You belong in a clinic, love. Yes, you do. If you keep up like this, you're going to have to visit, you're going to have to visit Nana Beryl's brain surgery clinic. Yes, I think we need to give you a lobotomy, love. Now, he's just getting into bed with his vomity-looking bedspread. Yes, that's right. Now, go to sleep, love. Here we go. Oh, at least they're having a good time on their holiday. Now, what's Mum doing? What are you doing, Mum? Oh, now we always saw Mr. Bumble naked. We don't want to see that, do we, love? No, we don't. Now, I think you also need to go somewhere and visit somewhere else, love. Yes, you do. Need to have a good time while you're on holiday, love. Now, who are we going to take with us? Shall we take both of them? Andy Bumble as well, as well as Mum. Yeah, Doris, we take Doris Bumble. Where shall we go, love? Shall we go to the village for some shopping? Yes, I think we will. But we'll do that next time, love. Yes, we will. So I think that's going to have to be the end of our video for today. Otherwise, it's going to run into a very long time. So I think we'll leave it about there, I think, love. Yes, we will. And she's just saying goodbye to other people Hello. because she's going out for the day to go shopping with her family. So thank you for watching, darling, and we'll see you again next time. Bye.